One of the biggest reasons egg supplies have dwindled is because of the ongoing avian flu outbreak. The virus has killed more than 43 million egg laying hens in the U.S. Over 5 million killed in Colorado. So what about wild birds? Bill Folsom looking into that concern tonight. He's joining us live from Pike View Reservoir. Hey, Bill. Yeah, we were contacted by the chair of our local chapter of the Audubon Society. She has been hearing from a lot of birders she knows. Those are the people who watch birds a lot closer than the rest of us. They're worried about the flu possibly coming into our wild bird population because they are seeing a very high number of geese dead at our local lakes and ponds. Every bird is important to Linda Hodges. Birds have mattered to me for a very long time. Her love of birds is a passion. She looks for birds and networks with other birders. She spots them for the beauty and follows the science of birds because their numbers are dwindling. We've lost 3 billion birds in the last 50 years or 30% of birds in North America. In recent weeks, she's been hearing from her birding allies about an unusual number of dead geese spotted in and around Colorado Springs. A few members of our uh, Audubon group have seen them at big Johnson, Prospect Lake, the Air Force Academy. The suspicion is it could be avian flu. Colorado Parks and Wildlife officers are aware and have a lot of information posted online. They first discovered avian flu in Colorado among snow geese along their migratory path on the northeast edge of Colorado. That was about a year ago. A couple of times, investigators found more than a thousand dead geese on a single reservoir. What started east? could have moved in closer to the front range. I'd just uh, like to know what exactly should the community do. For CPW, this adds to what they're already tracking. They test some cases, but not all. Contact Parks and Wildlife if you find three or more dead birds in the same area. Also, don't touch sick or dead birds because although rare, humans can be infected. Well, it's devastating um, when we see any Anything that takes birds out of the picture because habitat loss and climate change are already affecting them. Now we know this flu is already proving difficult to curb in domestic bird populations like chickens and they are in a controlled environment. Wild birds, they have no boundaries and they travel long distances. In Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.